We start with Wednesday's rare inter-Korean meeting between senior military officials. The South Korean government says they discussed how to ease cross-border tensions, especially in the West Sea, but experts speculate that they went a bit deeper. Hwang Sung-hee has our top story. A familiar face was present at Wednesday's inter-Korean military talks. North Korea's chief delegate Kim Young-tar is suspected by the South as having engineered the attack on the South Korean warship Tanan four years ago. He also threatened Seoul on television last year ahead of joint military drills between South Korea and the United States. We will counter with our diverse, miniaturized nuclear weapons. With the press of a button, everything will turn into a sea of fire. Experts say North Korea may be seeking to discuss the sinking of the warship and the South Korean sanctions that followed at the upcoming high-level talks slated for late October or early November. Seoul has been adamant that the heavy economic sanctions will not be lifted until Pyongyang takes responsibility for its actions. North Korea could seek compromise by expressing regret for the incident in the West Sea in 2010 and promising efforts to prevent recurrences. The sanctions, which halted nearly all inter-Korean trade and prevented fresh South Korean investment in the North, have been a major obstacle in improving ties between the two Koreas. Others say North Korea proposed the military talks to get a grasp of South Korea's true intentions and to set the agenda for their planned high-level talks. Hwang Sang-hee, Arirang News.